quiet. The hearing scene. Let's do this. <laughs> Mr. Whitaker, I want to talk about the days leading and the hours leading up to the accident. But before I do, I want to remind you that you are under oath and that any testimony you give here today will be considered admissible in any subsequent hearings or criminal proceedings. Do you understand what that means? Captain Whitaker, for the record, I need you to verbalize your answer. Uh, I'm sorry, yes, I understand. On the three days leading up to the accident, Tuesday, October 11th, Wednesday, October 12th, or Thursday, October 13th, did you consume any alcohol or other intoxicating elements? No, I did not. On the morning of the accident, Friday, October 14th, did you consume any alcohol or ingest any chemicals or drugs that may have impaired your ability to perform your job? No, I did not. Mr. Whitaker, do you now or have you ever had a problem with alcohol dependency, alcoholism, or drug addiction? No. Whitaker, Whitaker, we're about done. You did a great job. Due to the severe Said turbulence the in the early part of the flight, you asked the flight crew to suspend the beverage service on the plane, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. I uh, suspended the drink service on the plane. Are you aware that our investigators found two single-service vodka bottles in the galley trash bin? Yes, I'm aware of that. There were five crew members on board that would have had access to the beverage trolley. Less than an hour after the accident, blood was taken from each of these crew members, yourself, First Officer Evans, Flight Attendant Margaret Thomason, and posthumously from Camilla Satow and Katerina Marquez. Toxicology analysis was performed, and three of these tests came back negative. One was disqualified for technical reasons, and one tested positive for alcohol. It registered a 0.17 blood alcohol level. Are you aware of that? Well, yeah, I, I'm aware of it now. Miss mm -hmm. Marquez was not only a colleague, but you knew her outside of work, is that correct? Outside of work, correct. No, not really. Did you know Miss Marquez had a drinking problem? No, I did not. Did you ever see her drink to excess? No, I did not. Were you aware that she was twice treated for alcohol addiction? The last time was 16 months ago and paid for by SouthJet Airlines? No, I did not. Hmm. What's happening here, man? Is it your opinion that Katerina Marquez drank on that flight? Could you repeat the question? <laughs> Is it your opinion that Katerina Marquez Repeat the question, man. Man, he doesn't know what to say. Tell a lie or the truth. Hmm. Difficult to choose, man. I'm sorry, my what? Your opinion, <laughs> Captain. Since her toxicology report is the only toxicology report that is admissible in this hearing, and she in fact tested positive for alcohol, is it your opinion that Katerina Marquez drank those two bottles of vodka on the plane? Man, you don't know what to say. Should I lie or not? I couldn't hear you. What did you say? I said, God help me. Yes, well, however, yeah, you is need it your God's help. Opinion? My opinion is Katrina did not drink that vodka. Excuse me, Mr. Whitaker? She saved the boy's life. That's Could you speak louder, Captain Katrina Whitaker? Katrina Marquez did not drink the vodka. Because I drank the vodka. 
I drank the vodka bottles. Please be seated, sir. This is not a courtroom. All the plans are. Anyway. Damn. I drank the vodka bottles on the plane. Captain Whitaker, on the three nights before the accident, October 11th. October 11th, October 12th, and 13th, and 14th, I was intoxicated. I drank all of those days. I drank in excess. On the morning of the accident. I was drunk. I'm drunk now. I'm drunk right now. I miss Block. because I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. Man, I don't understand Captain Wade. And the guy has been telling a lot of lies and lies right now. No more lies, man. I have to tell the truth. And he did it. And it looks like he was relieved, right? Cool. That was it. Reactions to the hearing in flight. Like, comment, subscribe, sub subscribe, and we'll see you next time. For another beat, man.